Hey guys, every year on the last day of the Easter weekend, I head down to my local beach to celebrate the kind of end of the tourist season here. Everyone's got in their cars and they've gone back to Sydney, get ready for the, for the working week and the coming autumn and winter seasons. And uh, I make a little pilgrimage down to the beach uh, every year. I don't begrudge the tourists coming down to this region, of course. Uh, the economy is driven by tourism around here. Uh, so it'd be a bit churlish to do that, but it's also really nice. And I'm sure if you, any of you live in a touristy area, you know what I'm talking about. It's also nice when uh, it gets a bit quiet again and you can kind of enjoy it as a local. This evening ladies and gentlemen not sure about the color that cloud on the horizon looks pretty bleeding thick and I'm not sure we're gonna get any color happy to be proven wrong as always and as predicted the beach is considerably quieter than it has been lately we've got some people here walking their dogs on the beach. Dogs aren't allowed on this beach. Got the old surf guys heading home. I can see all the surfboards off in the distance there. They're done for the day. Another beautiful day in the surf. Wind is coming from the north west today. We've got one low dude out here windsurfing. Might be able to catch a shot of him with the old uh, telephoto lens. But the wind, because it's coming from the northwest, has blown out the surf. So any swell that's coming in, the wind is hitting it, and that's why it's looking as flat as it is. There's the guy with the drone. Don't know who's flying that. Looks like a Mavic. Looks like an air, actually. Could be wrong. drone buzzing around over behind me. I did actually bring mine, it's in the back of the car. But I found that um, I have to pick one or the other. I have to choose the shoot with my Fuji X-T4 or with the drone, otherwise it all becomes very um, rushed. And when things are rushed, you tend to make mistakes. The only times I've ever uh, done damage to my drones is when I've been trying to do two things at once. So I learned from that mistake. Okay, got the bazooka on the camera, come up a little bit higher. Let's see what we got. Well, there's no interesting backlighting at all at the minute. Very boring shots. Not even, oh, the windsurfer has got one of those foil things. Let's go to a faster exposure. Crank the ISO up a bit and see if we can get some Nice action shots of him. He's just coming past the surf club hut here. Look out. There he is. I'd be able to get a nice shot of him with the breaking waves. Just a couple of people there. There is a little bit of pink colour in those clouds to the north. We shall see. Anyway, very boring shots to be had up here. 
over the years I've lived in some spectacularly touristy places probably the most touristy of them all was um, Bath in the UK where I lived for about 12 years uh, and there it was absolutely crazy absolutely massive volumes of tourists year round when I moved there in um, 1990 they used to be very specific kind of tourist seasons and um, come the autumn uh, numbers would die right off and the Bathonians which is named for people from Bath would sort of reclaim the city it was a very nice and beautiful thing but uh, as sort of global tourism exploded with the bargain airlines and all that kind of stuff the tourist cycle just became a 365 day a year thing and it became quite unpleasant to live there consequently stunning beautiful gorgeous place and everything but just crazy with the visitor numbers and i wonder if they're going to address them in the same way that places like uh, i think venice are sort of limiting the number of tourists that can come and visit them these days i wonder if they'll do the same thing so south coast new south wales bears no comparison of course to bath not by a astronomical mile but it is still a touristy kind of destination and it is so lovely to come back down on the beach when most of the tourists have pissed off home and uh, it's just the locals and a few stragglers and people who were missing out on the traffic jams back into Sydney leaving it to the last minute before they drive home now nice little bit of golden color there peeking through but the trouble is this cloud on the base here is very dark I love the way it's kind of strung out and tenderly but it's very dark and I just worry it's gonna block the light too much I did actually take my drone down to Blackhead over there yesterday and fly it uh, didn't use the uh, X-T4 at all just flew the drone and I got some really nice shots actually a couple I've been thinking about for a little while with the the whole of the peninsula and the bay kind of in the shot and the setting sun behind it I will put the photos I took with that drone up on the screen uh, the ones I took yesterday evening I'll put them up for you now wind's picking up a bit now blowing the remaining tourists off the beach it'll be blowing me off the beach too in a minute I think because as you can see over my shoulder there's very little in the way of light uh, and therefore not much chance of doing my nice uh, silhouette out shots I'll just try and get around beside them here hopefully if I keep my distance they will keep their calm and not fly off but as always it only takes one of them to get a bit flitty and that's it so we'll see how we go
well that was a very pleasant surprise there's still a bit of color over here but it's fading pretty fast just got some really nice shots with the gulls getting the reflections the color was all the way across but it was a flash in the pan got to be quick to catch these things high drama that was at the end guys that sky came good for me in the end did see those little pink tints very early on and yes the low cloud did indeed block most of the color from the sky but we've still got some beautiful colors anyway some bonus got pinks and purples that was pretty tasty anyway like most places tourism never really completely um, sort of finishes up here in south coast new south wales and whilst it will of course be a lot quieter it's still a tourist destination the vast majority of the properties you can see over my shoulder here are tourist lets of one kind or another or the sort of second homes of moneyed up sydney siders but in any case it's a very quiet little place during the winter which is one of the reasons why i like it so much anyway I'm going to pack up now, clean off the old tripod, get home, stick the photos in the computer and see what we got. I hope you enjoyed another little trip to Seven Mile Beach, Jaroa. If you did, please do hit the old like button. And if you're enjoying these videos, these little on-site photo videos, consider subscribing to my channel just ticked over 8,000 so thank you to everybody who has signed up recently all right guys that'll do is ta-ta for now see you on the next one